Number 8. Jayana Tanay Webb Pennsylvania State Troopers responded to a call about a man walking along the southbound passing lane of Interstate 95 in Philadelphia on March the 21st of 2022. The two officers later named as Martin Mack and Brandon Siska were reportedly escorting the individual to their patrol car when all three of them were suddenly struck by an oncoming vehicle. The collision sent the men over the median and into the path of northbound traffic. Emergency medical personnel rushed to the scene, but both the officers and the man they'd been assisting were pronounced dead a short time later. The driver of the vehicle that had hit them was taken into police custody and charged with over a dozen counts, including third-degree murder. The suspect, identified as 21-year-old Jayana Tanay Webb, reportedly had a blood alcohol content of more than twice the legal driving limit at the time of the fatal crash. In the aftermath of her arrest, it emerged that she'd previously boasted about driving while intoxicated on her Twitter profile. In a post uploaded about two months prior to the incident, Webb had written, if you ask me, I'm the best drunk driver ever. She was denied bail during an arraignment hearing held the day after her arrest. Number 7. Dakari McCainoff In March of 2014, Los Angeles police were made aware of an alarming social media post uploaded to a Twitter account that belonged to 20-year-old local man Dakari McCainoff. He had posted a picture of a rifle being pointed out of a window in the direction of city streets. The caption reportedly read, 100 retweets and I'll shoot someone walking. McCain have subsequently posted a second tweet with a photograph depicting a man bleeding on the ground as a police car approached the scene, although it was later determined that the picture had been fabricated and no one had actually been harmed. The LAPD was able to find the location at which the picture had been taken, tracking it to an apartment in the 700 block of 9th Street in the city's downtown area. Upon searching McCainer's residence, investigators discovered the weapon shown in a Twitter post, which was ultimately determined to be an air rifle. Following McCainer's arrest, the social media post was taken down by Twitter and his account was suspended indefinitely. According to subsequent updates on the case, investigators had learned that McCainer's series of threatening social media posts had been part of an elaborate prank devised by him and his friends. The young man was eventually released without charges being pursued. Number 6. Mahek Bukhari a car chase in Leicestershire, England ended with cousins Mohammed Hashim Ijazuddin and Saqib Hussein being driven off the road by a group of three women on February the 11th of 2022. The peer's vehicle was reported to have been ripped in half as a result of the crash and they were both pronounced dead at the scene. Local police arrested TikTok star Mahek Bukhari, her mother and another woman who was named as Natasha Akhtar in connection to the deadly incident. 22-year-old Bukhari a fashion influencer with a social media following of over 128,000 uploaded a darkly ironic video to her TikTok account about a month prior to her arrest. During the clip in question, Bakari was shown casually confessing that she'd killed someone to which another user responded by saying that they loved her anyway. According to the BBC, the trial associated with the case was scheduled to begin in September of 2022. Number 5. Eliza Alder Two days after she'd arrived in Honolulu in May of 2020, Arizona resident Eliza Alder started posting photographs of herself on various beaches in Laie and Haula to her social media accounts. At the time, Hawaii had a strict 14-day self-quarantine order in place for all visitors, which 18-year-old Alder had openly defied by traveling across the state. Local police were notified of Alder's social media posts and she was consequently arrested for violating the state's COVID-19 mandates. It subsequently emerged that in addition to her beach trips, the teen had been working at a restaurant in Laie. It meant that Alder had been in contact with others during the period in which state regulations stipulated that she should have been quarantining by herself. Officers showed up at the restaurant to take Alder into custody on May the 20th. She faced charges of violating the state's quarantine rule and unsworn falsification to authority, and her bail was reportedly set at $2,000. Number 4. Amy Hill Eller In October of 2020, the Hansville Police Department in Alabama was alerted to a social media post made by a local resident who claimed that his wife and children had been approached by three men who threatened to kidnap them. The alleged incident was said to have occurred while 23-year-old Amy Hill Ella and her kids were out shopping in the Coleman County city of Hansville. Ella's husband described the purported kidnapping plot in a social media post that subsequently went viral. 
The Post detailed how the Ellis had contacted the police to file an official report of the incident and that an officer had since followed up with them. Suspicions began to arise after the Hansfield police publicly stated that they hadn't received a call about Ellis' supposed run-in with kidnappers, as the widely shared social media post had suggested. The following morning, the couple went to the police station to file a report, which they claimed had already been done, and an official investigation into Ellis' claims was consequently launched. Detectives reviewed video surveillance footage, phone records, and GPS tracking information in their efforts to corroborate that the alleged incident had in fact occurred. Investigators ultimately determined that there was no evidence to substantiate Ella's claims and they subsequently issued a warrant for her arrest. She was taken into police custody and charged with false reporting to law enforcement. Number 3. Lorraine Graves On the night of March the 13th of 2021, Oklahoma man Eric Graves, aged 30, was fatally shot inside an apartment in Tulsa. Upon their arrival at the scene, local police reportedly found a second victim who'd sustained a non-fatal gunshot wound to the arm. Law enforcement launched an investigation into the shooting which ultimately led them to arrest a pair of suspects, identified as brothers Jaden and Gabriel Hobson. On July the 14th of 2021, the Tulsa Police Department uploaded a Facebook post in which they asked the public for information regarding the whereabouts of 24-year-old Lorraine Graves. Although it wasn't reported how the latter was related to the shooting victim or what she was specifically accused of doing, the Post did detail how she'd been identified as a suspect in the ongoing investigation and was being charged with accessory to murder. Shortly after the Post was uploaded, Graves commented on it herself, glibly asking about the potential reward money for her capture. Within 24 hours of her taunting reply, Investigators tracked her location and took her into custody. Subsequent reports indicated that Graves' bond was set at $500,000. Today's topic was requested by Crit. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Tara Fears On September the 27th of 2018, Instagram influencer and former Miss Baghdad Tara Fears was gunned down in broad daylight while driving her Porsche through Iraq's capital city. As shown by CCTV footage, 22-year-old Fears had been shot three times through her car window by a gunman who subsequently fled the scene on a motorcycle. The former beauty queen was taken to a hospital where she was ultimately pronounced dead a short time later. In the wake of the incident, there was widespread speculation as to the true circumstances behind the influential young woman's killing, with the overarching narrative being that it had been part of an assassination plot. Iraq's interior minister stated that the individuals responsible for the shooting were members of an extremist group who had received dishonorable discharges from different armed factions. Many people rejected the government's determination regarding the motive for Fierce's murder, and it was theorized that she'd been targeted due to her outspoken stance on freedom and religion. The young woman, who had more than 2.6 million social media followers, at the time of her death, had an online presence that was perceived as provocative. She regularly posted pictures of herself in scantily clad outfits that showcased her various tattoos. Fears' social media posts openly challenged long-standing cultural norms present in Iraqi society, and many therefore believed that she was killed by elements who didn't approve of what would have been regarded as taboo behavior. Some even suggested that the assassination had possibly been orchestrated at the behest of Iraqi leadership. Number 1. Daryl Brooks Jr. Daryl Brooks Jr. made international headlines with his shocking attack on the Christmas parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin on November 21, 2021. He drove an SUV directly into a crowd of dozens of parade goers at approximately 40 miles per hour, killing six and injuring 62 others. Brooks, aged 36 at the time, was arrested and charged with six counts of first-degree intentional homicide and an additional 77 other charges in connection to the unprompted onslaught. Shortly after news of the tragedy circulated online, several disturbing posts from Brooks' social media profiles emerged as well. The man had previously written a number of social media posts in which he openly and repeatedly called for violence against white people. In an upload from June of 2020, Brooks encouraged his followers to knock white people out and also voiced his support for the controversial group known as the Black Hebrew Israelites. The police reported that each of Brooks' six victims were in fact white, needing many to extrapolate that his attack on the Waukesha parade had been racially motivated. Brooks' initial trial took place in February of 2022, with the defendant pleading not guilty to all charges levied against him, 
The defense team filed a motion for the trial to be held in a different Wisconsin county, arguing that it would be difficult to find an impartial jury in Waukesha, given that many local residents knew people directly affected by the attack. The legal proceedings were ultimately rescheduled for October of 2022, although the new trial's venue hadn't been selected as of the latest updates on the matter. Thanks for watching. Would you rather have all your phone's pictures uploaded to social media or have a 24-hour live stream inside your car? Let us know in the comments section below.